Um, I just resumed our recording. Um, so thanks for coming today. Uh, this is our session of the Shocker Pathway Transfer Fair. Um, right now we have Office of Diversity and Inclusion and I will let you guys uh, take it away. I'll stop my share so you have full control. Um, but again, just one quick housekeeping thing, Kira, there will be a link that I'll post in the chat and put up on the screen at the end of the session. Um, so stick around. That is your way to record your attendance and enter to win um, that Shocker Pathway gear and an entry to win a scholarship here at Wichita State. Um, just as a reminder, you do have to attend three unique sessions to be entered to win those things. Um, but I'll put that chat up or that survey up at the end of the session, both on the screen and in the chat. Uh, so if you guys want to take it away, the floor is all yours. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jenna. So give me one second here as I share my screen. No, it's kind of difficult trying to navigate through sharing screens uh, whenever you're on a PowerPoint presentation. So can you all see my screen? Fine. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know. So uh, good morning, Kira. Um, my name is Quang Nguyen. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I serve as the communications and marketing specialist for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion here at Wichita State University. Uh, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion is considered your home away from home. The reason why we're called that is because we're located in the heart of Shocker Nation, right in the Radigan Student Center on the second floor in room 208. And so um, when we talk about your home away from home, we want you to feel at home as much as possible. So um, giving you just a quick layout of our office. So when you are here at Wichita State, um, coming into our office space, you'll see that we have a lounge space where you can come in, hang out, watch TV, um, be able to utilize our kitchenette space, uh, be able to utilize our computer lab, our conference rooms, and our study rooms as well. Um, in addition to that, with our computer lab, we have um, uh, computers that you're able to utilize and be able to print up to 10 pages a day for free every single day. And so that's a good perk for just coming into our office space and utilizing our office um, as being part of, of a Wichita State University student. Our second tagline is lean into discomfort. Um, once you are here at Wichita State University, we want you to feel um, and be your authentic self. Um, we want you to be able to lean into discomfort and be able to uh, talk about various uh, topics and, and, and lean into that discomfort zone um, and, and get out of that comfort zone to be able to uh, talk about that those difficult conversations and, and navigate through those difficult conversations with others. And so that's uh, our second tagline of our office. With our office mission, we aim to cultivate and sustain an inclusive campus that strives for academic success. In order for us to be able to do that, we create an environment that educates, empowers, and mobilizes our students' campus and community. Um, what this means is that we, we want to be able to provide an all-inclusive space for all students here at Wichita State. And once they are here at Wichita State, and we want to uh, for our students to be able to respect one another and be able to be those leaders who are well-rounded individuals um, that will be able to uh, go out into the world and be leaders of our society. As you notice uh, in our call today, we have Nayeli Kano. Um, she serves as our retention coordinator for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion and, and is also a product of our office too. And so um, she has um, joined us today just to listen into our presentation um, so that that way she can also answer any questions that you may have um, throughout the presentation. So feel free to unmute yourself um, whenever you have any questions. But as you can see on the slide, uh, we have six full time staff members that can um, help you with anything that uh, that you have when you're here at Wichita State. Uh, we have office staff members dedicated to helping students uh, from diverse backgrounds uh, and to be able to help you get acclimated to campus life. Um, so we have our uh, director and assistant dean of students now, Alicia Sanchez, our assistant director, Danielle Johnson, our coordinator for diverse, uh, student diversity programs, Armando Minjares, 
Ahaba Mahdi, our retention coordinator, and of course, Nayeli Kano, our, our other retention coordinator, and of course, myself, uh, Quang Nguyen, the marketing specialist. With our programming throughout the school year, our office offers an array of academic, cultural, social, and outreach programs to students. Um, we host over 100 programs throughout the school year. And, and now that has changed over the course of the school year this past year because of COVID-19, uh, but we do plan to anticipate hosting more in-person as well as hybrid and Zoom pro uh, online programs for our students. And so some of those events include our diversity lecture series, um, bringing in some uh, keynote speakers to talk on various topics revolving around diversity and inclusion our LGBTQ plus programming, uh, supporting our LGBTQ student populations through socials and educational programming, our cultural heritage months, celebrating our cultural heritage that are nationally recognized, such as our Black History Month, our Asian American Heritage Month, Women's History Month, et cetera. Our academic excellence celebrations. Um, we host an academic excellence celebration every semester to celebrate our students' academic success. Uh, not often are our students recognized for the hard work and achievements that they uh, get each semester. And so our office wants to make sure that they are recognized for the hard work that they put into uh, to their academics and make sure that they are recognized each semester for their hard work. Then we also host our lavender and multicultural graduation celebrations each year. And so the, these, these events are our rite of passage for students graduating at Wichita State University. For our lavender graduation, uh, those are for our LGBTQ plus and allies. And then the multicultural graduation celebrations are for our multicultural students, as well as students who are participating in our programs. Here are some photos that we have from our various programs and events. So we have brought in Laverne Cox before, we have brought in Tim Wise, we have hosted a Pride Prom, National Day of Silence, Hispanic Independence Day, Open House, uh, Dia de los Muertos, and even hosted the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Unity Commemoration. So lots of events that we host on campus for Wichita State University students. And these events are free for you to attend. Uh, not only to for you to engage on campus, but for you to educate yourself as well. In addition to our programming, our programming and events, we also provide training for students, faculty, staff, and the community. So we provide numerous training and education opportunities for Wichita State community and the city of Wichita. Our goal is to increase the multicultural awareness and to promote that intercultural learning on a various levels. Uh, these can be used to enhance an individual's understanding of diversity, equity, and inclusion. So some of our trainings include our gender diversity training, our safe zone LGBTQ+, our diversity and inclusion in the workplace, engaging a multi-generational workforce. We also provide workshops as well. So that could um, be um, tunnel of oppression as well as various other workshops that we offer to our students, faculty, staff, and the community. And you may be questioning, uh, what are the resources or what are the benefits for being just part of this office or uh, how can this office benefit you while you're here at Wichita State? So when you do transfer to Wichita State University, uh, all offices here on campus are here to help you. Um, it, it is your responsibility for you to seek out those opportunities and, and seek out those offices that will be able to provide you those resources and, and those resources will turn into those benefits. So by participating in our office, um, you'll have that stu successful student transition to college life. So transferring from WSU Tech to Wichita State University, you'll have that successful transition into Wichita State University, as well as the introduction to campus resources. You also have the opportunity to meet friends and connect with other faculty and staff members as well. Um, you also have this support system for academic success. We wanna make sure that you have those systems in place and, and, and that support in place to make sure that you're, you are successful. You also have the 
unique opportunity to get leadership uh, workshops inside and outside of the, of the university, as well as gain the cultural awareness to work and lead in a diverse world. We all understand that we, are, we all come from different backgrounds and, and in order for us to be able to understand and respect one another, we gain that cultural awareness to be, to be able to respect one another. So earlier, as I mentioned in my introduction, uh, being part of this office, um, we have this commitment to the retention and success of all underrepresented students. So we offer that computer lab space that will help you study and be able to allow you to print for free up to 10 pages every single day. We have that lounge space where you can unwind, relax, um, be able to uh, watch TV and, and play games with other people. Um, students tend to come into our office space and just hang out with their friends and, and have that meeting space where they can converse and, and engage with other students. We also have that conference room and academic learning space where students are able to study, that they're able to meet with other students and have an alternative learning space where they feel safe enough to be able to uh, engage with other students. Um, and if the library or the first floor, floor or the Radigan Student Center or anywhere else is not um, a quiet enough space, our office is here to serve you. And so we want to make sure that we provide that alternative space for setting for you. In addition to that, again, um, we emphasize um, being your home away from home. So offering that kitchenette um, service to you. So having those various amenities for you to use during your study breaks. So ha having a Keurig uh, coffee maker or just a refrigerator where you can store your food, uh, that way you can access it in between classes. In addition to that, our office is here to be able to help you um, be that home away from home. And so, so having you come in in between those, uh, in between your classes is always a good time for you to interact with the staff members and other students when you come in as well. In addition to that, as, as I talked about our programming, uh, we also provide our programs um, and support groups to serve all students at Wichita State University. And that um, provides uh, our promoting academic student success, our ambassadors for diversity and inclusion, our support groups, and our LGBTQ plus at Wichita State. So well, I'll go into PASS. So what is PASS? Uh, PASS stands for Promoting Academic Student Success. That is a program that facilitates the retention, academic success, holistic development, and timely graduation for all underrepresented students at Wichita State University. Uh, while you're transferring here from WSU Tech, we want to make sure that you are academically successful and that you get a successful transition uh, to Wichita State. So we provide that free academic support service um, while you are here the educational and cultural programming, as well as the interpersonal relationships. We also provide free mentoring for those who are here for their first year um, being at Wichita State as well. So uh, by participating in PASS, students will be able to appreciate other students from diverse backgrounds, demonstrate that accountability for learning uh, experiences and academic success, identify those key resources that I mentioned earlier that will be able to assist you in re reaching your goal of graduating. Uh, at the end of the day, we want you to be able to graduate in a timely manner. Effectively practice developmental skills such as time management and study skills and creating relationships with a network of peers, faculty and staff on campus. Um, you create your relationships here uh, to be able to build onto your networks um, because you never know uh, who you're going to be able to meet and who will be able to provide you those future opportunities, uh, whether it's your professional or personal uh, development and goals. The overall benefits of being part of PASS within our office, uh, we provide the free one-on-one -on -one tutoring and group study sessions for students. So whether you are having academic challenges in algebra, chemistry, biology, English, any of the subjects uh, that you may have challenges with, we provide the free tutoring services for you. Um, we match you with those specific tutors 
and be able to get you that uh, get you those tutoring services as soon as possible. If we're not able to find that um, tutor for you, we do that intentional outreach to be able to hire any tutor so that way they can help you as soon as possible. In addition to that, um, for students, um, for brand new students, we provide that individual attention from a peer mentor. Uh, we have opportunities for leadership and professional development and involvement, access to academic support services uh, and resources, and then laptops for short-term checkouts, community service opportunities, study skills, and personal development workshops. And so um, being part of PASS will give it get you a lot of benefits and opportunities. So definitely encourage you to check out our website, um, which I will mention in just a little bit, um, that will provide you more information and details on how to sign up. With our Ambassadors for Diversity and Inclusion, this is a student organization on campus that represents the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. They are change agents at Wichita State University dedicated uh, to developing diversity program initiatives, as well as uh, being liaisons to various university committees and student organizations. Uh, they consist of uh, Wichita State University student leaders committed to promoting deep cultural awareness and strive to build better intercultural relations uh, while increasing campus-wide participation and multicultural programs across campus. We also have support groups. So um, while you uh, may not have time to join a student organization or um, you're working a lot and, and you want to stay engaged, um, but not necessarily have the time to be able to uh, dedicate in a student organization or a professional organization, we have uh, support groups that will be able to provide you the same uh, amount of support. Um, in a different scale. And so Men of Excellence and Phenomenal Women are support programs that focus on undergraduate and graduate students at Wichita State University. Um, we provide this, uh, these support groups to build a community that focuses on self-reflection, identity development, self-efficacy, and just celebrating the cultural influences that shape the lives of people of color in general. And so um, these support groups will provide us space that strengthens the bonds between each other, uh, creating that network between students, faculty, and staff, um, developing leaders, improving their communication and collaboration, as well as strengthen the values and self-esteem as well. In addition to that, um, we have various topics that we talk about in our support group. So sometimes we could talk about a career plan, um, if it's for a phenomenal woman, we talk about woman empowerment. Uh, we talk about intersectionality. We talk about uh, short-term and long-term goals at times too. And so lots of various important topics that will help your development here at Wichita State while providing you um, a short, uh, a support group that will help you here at Wichita State. We also have uh, launched a new platform called Black Excellence that provides resources to build on culture, uh, tradition, and intersectionality to support academics, identities, and social excellence for students. So in this platform, students will be able to get the campus resources, professional development, academic support, and the connections to Black faculty, staff, and alumni as well. So as being part of the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, not only that we are supporting our underrepresented students, we, we do focus on uh, various populations, specific populations too, uh, such as our Black students, and of course, our Latino students too. And so uh, we have our Black Excellence and our Latinos Lead, um, which Latinos Lead is a program that focuses on facilitating a seamless transition from college to the workforce by focusing on three areas, including cultural awareness, personal development, and leadership skills. When students join Latinos Lead, they emerge into an, uh, into an expansive network of uh, workplace professionals with coaching and mentorship opportunities. They, be, uh, they are able to discover how to evaluate their skills and qualities while setting goals to maximize their potential, expose their, themselves to their desired careers, by learning the importance of networking events and be motivated to, into leaning into discomfort. They get to experience unique leadership programs to enhance their leadership skills on how to motivate and influence people to work towards common goals. 
and be able to interact with other university Latinx student leaders as well. And so this, these two programs are brand new. We just launched them uh, the spring of 2021. And so uh, we are excited to be able to grow these programs and serve as many students as possible. And then we also support our LGBTQ plus um, student population too. So if you're not familiar with our acronym, LGBTQ plus um, stands for our lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, uh, queer and questioning as students. So our LGBTQ plus at Wichita State truly shows the commitment that Wichita State University has to diversity. We provide a comprehensive range of education and training as well as social and educational programming, support services, and advocacy services to the entire Wichita State community. Um, in order for us to be able to do that, we have our LGBTQ plus ambassadors. Uh, they lead the way to representing queer shockers across campus. Um, these ambassadors participate in panels, they lead discussions, uh, they plan LGBTQ plus events and activities with our coordinator of student diversity programs as well as help coordinate our annual LGBTQ plus history month activities in October. They also are the liaisons between our office, Wichita State University and Glisten, Kansas to be mentors for local high school GSA students and invite them to be part of our queer shocker nation. And so we do our best to make sure that we are supporting all uh, underrepresented student, uh, groups and students here at Wichita State University. And so um, our office does a good job in, in making sure that our students are being represented and, and being supported on this campus. Um, we also uh, support all, all students on this campus as well. And so um, not, not all underrepresented students um, um, so, so all underrepresented, underrepresented students will be able to uh, get services within our office, as well as all of the other students will be able to get services within our office as well. And so um, our office is, is here for all students here at Wichita State. And I end with um, more information about our office. And so if you're interested in learning more about our office, um, we are always on social media. Um, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as you can learn more about uh, us on our website at wichita.edu slash ODI. You can always contact us on, via email or calling us, um, as well as visiting us in the Radigan Student Center Suite 208. Um, so I am now opening it up for questions. And then feel free, um, Nayeli, if you would like to share any experiences that you had uh, during when you're in college as well. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Kling. Um, hi, Kira. So I was actually a student um, from 2016 to 2019. Um, I participated in our Passage to Success program and then eventually became a past tutor for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. And now I am the retention coordinator who actually runs those, runs and oversees those programs. So it's kind of nice to see um, how I developed as a student to now a professional. So I'm very excited to um, have you here and um, look forward to working with you in the future. Um, if you have any questions, just like Quang said, feel free to reach out to us um, and we'll be more than happy to help you. So do you have any questions for us? Um, no, I don't have any questions, thank you. Okay, wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and get that um, survey link posted in the chat real quick. Um, let's see, there you go. And Kira, do you need, I, the, I have a QR code as well, uh, whichever one works best for you, um, but you should be able to just click on that link if that works. Okay, and the link is just for attendance purposes, right? Um, that's what's going to enter you for those drawings. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone that attends at least three sessions um, automatically is going to get some Chakra Pathway gear, but it yeah. also um, enters you to win a $500 scholarship. Um, so there's that. And it also helps me provide some feedback to our presenters uh, as well. Okay, thank you. 
it. And it, it should just take you a quick minute to fill out it if you could, if you wouldn't mind doing that for us. I have to do it right now. Okay, perfect. Did the link work okay for you? Oh, uh, let me see. Do, do, do. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. We'll kind of hang out for just another minute. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. I'll cut that in.